Hey folks, Joshua Hanlon here, and I am doing an hour of the 72-hour LEGO community live stream here on Beyond the Brick. So if you haven't heard of this before, this is 72 hours of live streaming that takes place over uh, like dozens of different uh, LEGO fan YouTube channels online. And so I'm hosting an hour here on Beyond the Brick. I know some people were confused earlier, so I want to clarify this is not the 24-hour live stream that we're hosting for Creations for Charity. That actually happens a week from today. So if you want more info on that, uh, definitely look for uh, a link in the description of this video or go over to creationsforcharity.org and you can find info on the blog there. Um, but if you're also looking for, for more people hosting uh, parts of the 72-hour stream, you can find that in the description as well with a full schedule on who's hosting after me and what the rest of the schedule looks like. But for my hour, I wanted to get in the, the Christmas holiday spirit a bit. So I've got this wreath set here that I'm going to be building and putting together. I think this set looks really cool because uh, it can also be turned into like a, a table centerpiece. You can see that down here in this corner. So we'll open this up and get all of the fun leaf elements out. Let's see what we have here. Thank you everyone uh, for joining us today. And... I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, John and I had a very fun time with a bunch of the regular Beyond the Brick crew on uh, Boone Langston's um, live stream. We were on the, the season two finale of his AFOL Spotlight Live last night. So if you haven't checked that out, go over to Boone Builds, his channel, and definitely give that a watch. John and I were on there along with uh, Kirk, Vision Bricks, Brian, Bricks O'Brien, and uh, Mike um, from The Cool Factor. So... Lots of, lots of fun was had over there with uh, Boone and everyone. So if you have any questions in the chat, uh, feel free to ask them now. Uh, I'll be doing we got this stream uh, for an hour. So this will go into 1 p.m. Eastern time. Then at 2 today, uh, we have a, another Ideas Spotlight show with a really cool uh, LEGO Ideas project that we'll be highlighting. So uh, you can tune back in at 2 p.m. Eastern today if you want to see that here on Beyond the Brick. And then that'll probably be it. Um, maybe one more idea show we'll see until the 24-hour live stream um, a week from today on Friday next week. Fry Guys is wondering, is Brian coming on? Um, possibly. He had mentioned he might be able to stop by, so we'll see. Uh, he might he might stop in at some point. Uh, it could just be me for the whole hour. We'll We'll find out. We'll dive into the parts here now. Uh, give me one second to mute my mic while I open these so that it doesn't get too loud for all of you guys. And as always, the brick separator, I have an ongoing collection next to me. I actually find these pieces um, very useful. I, Because I don't always pay attention very well as I'm building, I tend to end up needing to uh, take stuff apart. So I always keep one of these nearby. This build is... Uh, I'm not sure how, how big this ends up getting. So we'll see how much space it needs to take up on the table here. I haven't done a, a lot of the... Christmas holiday themed builds. Um, I know there's some other cool ones out there and I'm sure in future streams uh, we'll have some of that for you guys. Let's see. Pasco says I've got a Christmas advent calendar today. Uh, Lego Christmas advent calendar. Those are super fun. Um, I grew up doing those with my uh, siblings a lot. So we would do those at Christmas time when we were younger and had a lot of fun with those. So enjoy. I know now nowadays when, when I was a kid back back in the day, they didn't have a lot of varieties of them. They had like City and maybe one other kind, maybe Star Wars or something. But but now they, they create uh, a lot more varieties of the advent calendars. So that's cool. There's a lot more to choose from. It's a ton of these kind of studs not on top sideways building bricks, which are helpful in this set. So that's a, that's a good piece to have for mock building. Sai O'Connor, have you ever made anything from brick separators? I, I have not personally, but I've seen some really cool builds. Um, people have made like spaceships from them. Um, really, really neat stuff. Uh, John, producer John might be able to pull up uh, some mock photos. Let's we'll see, give him a minute here. See if he can pull up any mocks made from um, brick separators. There's definitely been some cool ones people have posted over the years. 
So, I mean, it, it just goes to show that, you know, it's it's not about the parts you have. It's about how creative you are, because if you can make some of the brick separators, I think you can build anything. There you go. Look at all these. There's a, there's a hand taking taking some collectible minifigs. Uh, let's see. There's like a like a train station. So, yeah, that's like a perfect use for them is like a roof element there. That's. Oh, look at that, like a micro skyscraper, micro scale type of building. Uh, oh, a flower. Yeah, look at that. I mean, there's so many, so many things you can do with it. Tie inner or tie separator, Star Wars ship there in a the nice orange color. Well, I think that I, th I hope that answers the question. Look at all that cool stuff. There's some kind of spider walker yeah, they make for great little like mech legs that <laughs> tower tower bridge with some uh added orange flare looking at the instructions here to make sure i don't miss what i'm supposed to do it looks like build one of these with the string attached it's hard to see. There's the, there's the black string. And then you build 15 of these other sections. So that will be what I'm doing now. This will prepare me for building the 200 arch sections in the Coliseum on the 24-hour live stream. That should be a lot of fun. Uh, what is your all-time favorite Christmas Lego set? Um, I really like, I think, the train. The, the train one. I forget what year that came out. But that's the one I've done the most with. And I still pull that out every year and put it around our Christmas tree. So that's that's my favorite. Yep, we'll be here for uh, an hour. So we're ending at 1 p.m. Eastern time. And then uh, someone else will take over on a different channel. And that's how the 72-hour the community stream works. It goes from channel to channel as people host different sections and you can find that schedule in the description of the video. So check that out. If you want to know who's hosting next and over the next uh, couple of days here as the 72 hour stream continues. Ooh, that's a sweet one right there. Look at that. You can barely even tell it's brick separators used. It looks so nice and sleek. Um, Samad in the chat, I the 2016 tr holiday train is the one I'm I'm thinking of. Yeah, I think it was 2016. Sounds right. That's the the one that I was thinking of that I really enjoyed uh, playing with and building and still pull out for the Christmas tree. Let's see, Franco, how are you guys preparing for next week's 24 hour live stream? Can't wait. Um, I don't do a lot of prep every year. It's more uh, it's more just willpower in the moment. Um, there's not, I guess for me, there's not a lot of things to, to prep in terms of, um, like food or drinks or anything. I just kind of have, uh, whatever's available. I tend to have like Christmas or Thanksgiving leftovers, um, for several meals. So there isn't a whole lot that, that I do to prep for it. Um, it's more just as the stream goes on, making sure I have the, the willpower to continue and not fall asleep. Um, I'm sure I'll, I will have some some beverages certainly uh, ready as well, though. Some caffeine. You can't go without that. London Bridge Bricks says, good afternoon from a cool London. Thanks for checking in. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I imagine it's starting to get pretty, pretty chilly over there. I remember uh, a couple of years ago, um, actually on my birthday. So my birthday is um, coming up. It's December 15th. John and I were coming back from uh, a week in Billund uh, working with the AFAL designer program Bricklink sets there a couple of years ago. And we had an overnight in London on our flight home. And it was very, it was very cold. I remember. I think it was very windy as well. But that was the, the middle of December. Mini Brick Productions suggests workout sessions every two hours uh, during the 24-hour live stream. 
I could have uh, John come in here like a drill sergeant and like yell commands and start doing push-ups. I'm sure that would end well. Brian and I could have a push-up contest. I don't think anyone would want to see that. How many chicken nugs can I buy with twenty dollars? That is a that is one of life's deep questions, isn't it? I think a fair amount these days. Can't wait for you to start touring the globe again beyond the brick. Uh, I agree. I think uh, we're we're very much looking forward to that. It, signs are are looking good for for June of next year. I think Brick World Chicago um looks looks really promising for that show happening so if uh travel and everything opens back up then i think we can do it whoa and what is this uh late breaking addition to the stream here connects kenny <laughs> where where are you connects kenny <laughs> what <laughs> hey man what's going on man uh can, can you is my camera working <laughs> yes what? Oh, hi. I'm frozen on my end. Oh, the whole thing's from. Hey, chat. <laughs> um, are you are you doing okay over there? <laughs> yeah. So I am conditioning my body to stay awake late, so that way I can like actually do the stream. So I was up until six in the morning. Oh, wow. Yeah. I shouldn't have bothered you with this stream then. <laughs> no, no. It's I, I I wanted to make the effort to show up here and er, like a couple others. Um and I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I am so I'm sorry. But no, it's fine. I figured it was something like that going on. Uh yeah, yeah so um I yeah, I was up very, very late. <laughs> Very late, but you know, hey, this is a good reason for me to miss the first ten minutes. So <laughs> that's that's right. <laughs> you know, good advertisement for the stream. I can't see the chat or anything. Um, <laughs> just awful. vision in general is pretty blurry for you right now. <laughs> yeah, no, I I literally just woke up. You know that fog when you wake up, you're like, what? yes, yeah. Alyssa says this is a bad idea. Every she, you know, she's full of bad ideas herself. Okay, so let's not you know, point fingers. Okay, all right. Who else is saying it's a bad idea? I can't see chat at all. This I feel so blinded. I feel blind right now in general. Somebody but, just commented. Ak Lego says, "Why is this in my recommended?" <laughs> why not? Well, you're clearly watching other fantastic Lego content, and now you're here, and now I'm here, and Joshua's here. So. I, everybody uh, everybody is better because of it. Yeah, exactly. Especially that guy. <laughs> Elliot says, what hour are we on? Um, well, I, we're only streaming for an hour, but there's been a bunch of other people already streaming, and then there's, there's a bunch of people streaming on their own channels after me. So um, you can look in the description for a link or a, a, a full breakdown of the schedule on all that stuff. Uh, Maniac for Bricks is next as far as I know. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. He he may appear on the 24-hour stream. Who, who knows? He has a weird schedule. Hopefully. But, I don't think I don't think we never got him in a quarantine cast, did we? No. There, there's a lot of people that um, I, I reached out to myself and said, hey, you should participate in the 24-hour stream that haven't been on the quarantine cast. So I'm, I, I, uh, I, I want to be able to, like, introduce you to a ton of people that you don't know about and be like, hey. You know, beyond the brick. Here's these people, and Joey's one of them. Um, uh, the the person that was on the 72 hour uh, stream just before this, uh, Cafe Con Lego. I was supposed to be there on her stream at some point from 9 a.m. to 12. Certainly didn't happen. <laughs> so she's another one of them. So CC, if you're watching, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but she she's one of them. Um couple people so you know if you're watching the 24-hour stream you're in for a good time yes no it'll be great i've been reaching out to several lego designers so um i reached out to uh carl merriam because he designed the 
the largest of the new Mario sets, the Ooh. adventure one or whatever. So Ooh. I'm still I'm waiting to hear back from him, but I'm I'm hoping he can maybe pop in for a bit and and talk about that uh, on the stream. Um, and then I, I also reached out to Marco Spessa. I haven't heard anything back. Um, I don't I don't know if he'll actually uh, be able to come on or not. But if he can, he can talk about that the diagonally set as well. That's awesome. Yeah, I didn't I didn't I feel like some there is there a resource anywhere on brick set or otherwise where you could see like who designed what set because i feel like i don't i'm in the dark always uh brick set does have a database um you can go over so if you go over let's let me find it so i can tell people is, how it, to... is it reliable is it for every set or most of them no it's pretty reliable so if you go over to brick set and go to the more tab um then there's a lego set designers brick list and if you click on that um it's alphabetical order by the name of the designer and then you can click on their name and it shows all of the sets that they've they've designed in their career okay so i i just must have never saw it all right so i'm gonna make a better effort of like looking at that list because like you i i recognize you know carl Merriam and yeah and no i'm not like, sure the only thing with it is i'm not sure how quickly it's updated so i think it might sure. depend on the designer possibly so i mean if you're wondering like the day a set comes out who designed it it might not be on there. I'm not sure exactly how long it takes, you know, Hugh and the brick set people or the designers themselves to go over and kind of update stuff there. Yeah, that, uh, that makes sense, but yeah, that that's good to know. Yeah, no, I've definitely used that in the past. It's a great resource. Um, and some, some designers really spend time. Um, they'll write stuff in there about the sets. Uh, they'll give a little bio about themselves, all sorts of cool stuff. Yeah, cool. I know, I know, like Nick Voss mentioned it before, like, oh, here's my brick set list of uh, every set that I had a hand in in general. It's like, oh, okay. But I don't know if every designer is as involved, you know? Right. I think it does depend, depend on yeah. the designer. But yeah, I'd, I'd love to have uh, Carl's always fun to chat, chat to no, uh, no matter what. And uh, since he worked on the, the Mario set, um, then I thought that'd be a good opportunity. We'll see yeah, if he has time to stop by. Yeah, I, I saw him talking to Boone a while ago, so I was uh, he's he's good, fun to talk to. So. Oh yeah, <laughs> um, uh, I should probably pay attention to chat here since you can't see it. Shouldn't I? I, I, I can't see <laughs> <laughs> uh, does Beyond the Brick have a Lego Ideas account? So we don't have like an official Beyond the Brick account on Ideas, but I definitely have an account that I use to support projects such as Boone Langston's Magic School Bus. If people haven't seen that, you should definitely go over and support that on Lego Ideas. That's super cool. Um, that's one of the more recent projects I've supported. Mini Brick Productions, how many designers work at Lego, Joshua? A ballpark number. Um, I'm trying to think. I've definitely heard numbers thrown around. I want to say, I don't know, John might have to... Oh, the number, The number like 300 comes to mind um but maybe that's is that too high john i would say two to three hundred is that is i feel like i've definitely heard that range of numbers thrown around before do you now i factor in uh designers meaning graphic designers um product designers not just sets but other stuff too so that probably makes sense the two to yeah two right i think probably all of all of those people taken together yeah, and they do some. Uh, I think they do some graphic design work at Enfield too. So it's not just Denmark. Exactly. Yeah, they don't do any. They don't do any set design. They used to do design some of the like special one-off sets, like Comic Con stuff and things like that. I think at Enfield, but I don't know if they even do that anymore. Yeah, I don't think so. But yeah, if you factor in um, Master Model Builders too, then yeah, Enfield. That's where they're at there. So. Have you you toured Enfield before? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. So yeah, I mean, I guess you aren't that far, so that makes sense. No, uh, during my time at uh, the Lego store, we had made many, many, many uh, trips to the corporate store. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. I see. There you yeah. go. So uh, I I have been there before. I've I've seen the the stomping grounds. <laughs> I, I could I could tell you stories about my times there on the twenty four hour stream. It's great. Yes. Uh, do any current designers for Lego work outside of Bill in like other countries? 
So what we were saying earlier, I think as far as set designers, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure all of the sets are designed in Billund, but you might have the occasional, you've got like um, like the master model builders that do stuff for Legoland and that type of thing. Like those people don't um, work in Billund necessarily. There's other places they work. Um, but as far as sets, I believe that's all done in Billund, I believe. Yeah. Oh, no, there, there was one thing for a, a little, little, little while. They had these promotions where you go into the store one day a week, the, the monthly mini build that was right. designed there. But yeah, nothing else. It's not Brian on the stream. It's Connects Kenny. Sorry, Brian. Yeah, you can't no. you can't see Brian until the 24 hour live stream. So come no. back for that. Yeah, this is this is Connects Kenny, a little bit groggier, deeper voice, a little more toned down, sultry. <laughs> that's, that's... <laughs> Vertical orientation on the camera, very unprofessional. Uh, Mini Brick Productions asks, any idea how designers are working in this situation? Are they working solo at home or going back to the office? So yeah, I know well, I've seen – what was that? Uh, so, you know, let me let me just say this to Mini Brick Productions. I, I tried privately calling him out on Instagram. You know, he's asking all these he's asking all these questions about what it takes to be a Lego designer, all these questions about Lego designers. How about him being a coward, get on the live stream and ask the Lego designers themselves during the 24 hour stream? All right. Oh, there you go. What you do because he he's incredibly talented at building custom creations, Lego Mario or otherwise. So how about you do that, sir? All right, Josh. I mean, answer the question, Josh. But I just wanted to, you know, reinstate. Thank you. That. Thank you for more publicly calling him out. Now. Yeah, That's exactly. Right. I appreciate exactly. that. Uh, so yeah, I know I'd seen different interviews with like Mike Psyche, Carl Merriam, different designers, where they said they were they were working at home. They'd taken some pieces from the office and were were working at home. And actually, I believe Mike had mentioned that um, he felt like the workflow was going pretty well. And at first, everyone thought, "Oh, there's no way we could design this stuff at home," and it just wouldn't work out. But they were actually making things um, work fine. They were staying on schedule with, you know, keep set designs and keeping stuff going. So um, last I'd heard, this was several months ago, he said um, things things were actually working pretty well. So I don't know if that's something they'll let designers do more of in the future as far as working from home or not. Um, at this exact moment, I'm not sure exactly what it's like. But I know a few months ago um, when things were locked down, they definitely were still getting a lot of work done from home. They probably want all that confidential stuff on lock always. Yeah, that that is true. They're probably like shaking in their boots. They're like, man, we can't let Brian find out about Peach's Castle. We got to get it back in corporate. <laughs> well, that's like uh, I so I remember the the stream where I heard I think it was one of Boone's streams with Mike and Carl talking about this stuff, and they're the rooms they were in in their house were like super dark, and all you could see was them <laughs> because they had like unreleased sets in the room. That they were working on. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> are you are you a banana guy, Connects Kenny? Uh Connects Kenny, uh, that is who I am. Yes. Um <laughs> just get a little potassium in me. Um, I can't do bananas. I just I don't really? know what it it's like the texture. Um I like like banana bread is really good. Sometimes like banana flavor and things I sometimes like, but just straight up bananas. I, I can't handle them. Banana flavor is like, you can clearly taste the fake banana in it. Um, yeah. have, have you ever tried it? Like, it's going to make me sound ancient, but like oatmeal or something like just in a different way. Yeah, I have. Um, yeah. I, it's, I do like it sometimes in like crepes. So if you get like Nutella sure. and like strawberry banana crepes, that sort of thing, that can be good. Um, but I think it's mostly the texture of it just is That's really it. off-putting to me. Which is unfortunate because they're they're healthy, they're good for you. So I I try to eat somewhat decent things. They're very good. As much as I uh, advocate for Dunkin' Donuts and you know <laughs> cake and burgers, you know. Can't eat it all the time. I mean you can, you'll die. Quicker, but you, you know. <laughs> I just have my water. Oh, I need water too. I'm still asleep. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're fine. Are there a lot of people um, 
that are from the like the, the 72 hours like the 72 hour stream they they jump from stream to stream is there like some people that have never been in the chat before that are here or is it just the regulars no there's definitely some names i don't recognize so yeah i guess they probably jumped so so thank you for whoever's come from previous streams and is uh tuning in now i, I appreciate can't, that I, I can't see the names can you tell me one person who's new uh crab shack man uh Hey, crab. Let's see. That's that's one that's one of the names that stood out to me that I don't recognize from past. Right, crab. Listen, you're gonna show up back here on this on the 24 hour stream. You're gonna watch the whole thing. You understand me? All right, good. Uh, let's see. Crazy Crafter Prime says I'm new here. Uh, Brickhead oh, Family says I'm new. I think. Oh, uh, Adora build. So there's a bunch of people tuning in. I say, well, thank you, everyone. A bunch of a bunch of new people tuning in for the first time. Well, uh, you're getting to see the authentic uh, Connects Kenny experience. <laughs> so definitely, what what uh, he Brian is like on every stream. Pretty much, except <laughs> not as energetic. Which, <laughs> considering I just woke up, you know, I think you're doing pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing better than you know me on most days. So. <laughs> Uh, this wreath is uh, the repetition in this is really preparing me well for for the Coliseum of doing uh, 15 of these little builds here. <laughs> I wish I could see what you were talking about. It's still frozen on my end. <laughs> <laughs> is your home internet a lot worse than the office internet? No, I, I think it's just because I I joined and it was like booting up at, at the very oh, okay. start. Let me let me leave and come back just so I can like unfreeze it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Brett says, is there a mega mic? <laughs> you never know. Don't give Brian any ideas. London Bridge Bricks, I'm here, but building in the background. Well, thank you. Thanks for building. I hope you're having fun. Oh, it's 1.30 in the morning? Uh, for a Dora build. Wow. Thanks for hanging in there. We are halfway done. It's 1230 now, so we've got a half an hour left on this stream. We'll see if I can uh, finish this wreath. Probably not with the amount I'm talking and not building. Whoops. Every time every time I hit add you to stream, John does it at the same time and I end up kicking you out. <laughs> cool. Well, there we go. Oops. Let's see. No, I'm not can't me. see. Wait, I think I can see chat. Hold on. Yeah, I can. Hi, I'm back. <laughs> Hi, chatters. Uh, where is Lep and Larry? Uh, Lep and Larry is is um, he's um, he's in the middle of a battle, legal battle right now. Um, he cannot make any public appearances right now. Um, it's real dicey. Yeah, I, I can't comment on it further. Actually. Sorry. Lep and Larry of all of all of your alter egos is like the the conspiracy nut one. <laughs> it's like no, well, so so there's there's like a bit of an identity crisis as well because we have Lincoln Log Larry oh. as part of the Building Block brand ban. Lep and Larry has taken the name from Larry, trying to disown the Lincoln Log name. However, he does have his like an actual name that I I can't you know I can't I can't comment on. Yeah. I see. That uh, makes sense. Yeah. Okay, time time to put all these sections together. Rick says that BTB has been a source of inspiration for me since 2017. Happy to be here. Happy to have you. I just about on stream today started building a uh, – holiday themed set that's still under embargo that I realized like five minutes before we were supposed to start <laughs> and I was like oh I can't build this <laughs> I'm trying to think my database of what I there's nothing that I know of that's like that unless it's like oh wait I think I mm, okay anyways <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard because they like if it's something that arrives in the mail like a long time before Right, Margo, right, then, right. Then I forget it, and I'm just like, oh, I'll just sit down and build this. <laughs> right. No, I think I, 
Uh, I don't think it's anything spicy, Chad. Don't get ahead of yourself. It's not, it's not anything crazy spicy, no. But I, no. I was going to sit down and build it on this stream. No. The, the next spiciest thing that I think I know that I'll get is uh, the Mario stuff and uh, the four Harry Potter books. Those are going to be the next things. So. Yes. This is such a great parts pack for uh, leaves. leaves. Yeah. If you want to, if you want to open up uh, a dispensary modular, there you go. It's perfect. <laughs> okay, now Brian. <laughs> we aren't allowed to show you the twenty thousand piece Christmas tree set. There you go. <laughs> That's it. That's that. He spoiled it. Jeez, get the get the the throw him in jail with Lepin Larry. <laughs> Bradshaw with the ninety nine cent super duper Uber sticker. Thank you very much for that, man. There we go. Super sticker. Very nice. Oh, and I should mention that for for people who are new here, uh, make sure you head on over to Creations for Charity dot org and uh sign up to join us on the 24-hour live stream if you're interested and then also donate to our tiltify campaign we have going where every five dollar donation uh gives you a chance to win the Diagon Alley lego set so you can help support creations for charity and enter to win an uh, awesome lego set so make sure you go over and do that there we are we're at 3700 our goal is to hit 5000 uh within a week before the 24-hour live stream starts that's mm. our goal Brickhead family in the chat. Yeah, fill out that form, Brickhead family. I meant to message you and I forgot. I'm sorry. I want you on the 24 hour stream. That's a that's a trend with Brian today of just kind of uh neglecting things. I was oh man. Yeah. <laughs> and I I've, I've been busy, so I'm trying to get so many videos done before the 24 hour stream for me, just so I get them, you know, out. So uh, it's been like, yeah. And then uh, trying to anticipate when those the all those Lego sets show up from Lego. So, I like the look of this set so far. Yeah, it, it looks great. Oh, I think I froze again on my end. Nice, it's solid. You look fine to me. Uh, yeah, it 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 must be stream Streamyard as a platform isn't fantastic. It's kind of you know, um. But yeah, no, that, that wreath build looks really cool. And uh, for what you get with it, I, I actually want to get that myself at some point. Shout out to, uh, I should say, Lego for sending this set. I'm uh, not actually sure how much this set costs off I think, the top of my head. How many pieces is it? I think 600, right? Uh, they don't, it's not on the box, so I'm not sure. I'd have to, I'd have to go over to break yeah. that. I think, I think it retails for 50. I haven't been in stores a lot recently, though. Yeah, well, if you're especially if you're wanting these different parts that it comes with, large quantities of all this green stuff, then it's it's good parts pack. Green stuff, yes, good for the <laughs> parts. Pack. So I still can't see Chad again. Uh oh, Ian is asking what set designer is going to be on the twenty four hour live stream. Uh, I know Justin Ramson has signed up. I'm hoping to have uh, Rock, which is the name of the designer of the Coliseum. He's he's trying to work out his schedule to get on, so we we sh hopefully we'll have a few different ones um, stop in at at different times. Um, Neek and Nick usually usually hop in at some point during the stream. So uh, depending on what time you're in, uh, hopefully we'll have a, a few different designers joining us. Yep, I'll put my professional pants on. Don't worry, Joshua. <laughs> That's good. Brian Brian will ask about their favorite technic color and then just move on. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> what a time! Only, only the best. And speaking of only the best, that uh, that time with Boone last night, that was one of the best shows I think he ever had. Yeah, he messaged us afterward and said he like really enjoyed it and gotten a lot of great feedback. Uh, no, it was super fun. I like how he didn't he didn't think John was gonna be there, so that was nice because uh, then yeah. you get a surprise John appearance, which doesn't happen very often. I meant to make a comment during it at some point, but I, I didn't get a chance to toss that in there. The way John talks about Beyond the Brick sounds like like a CFO, like he like he's you know the guy in charge. Like you know you know you are the face for sure, 
but then like not like puppet master behind the strings, but like you know he's confidently sitting in the chair, you know. <laughs> Whereas I'm just narrowly balancing on the side of the chair, not sure what's happening. Yeah, like there could be at some point, you know. If you if you went up to John and said, "Hey John, you know, I'm just I'm kind of done with Beyond the Brick." He's like, "I knew that." Anyways, goodbye. And then he brings someone else in, you know. And that's be, he can be that CFO, you know, cutthroat to that point, to that whatever, you know. Yeah, no, well that's that's what has made Beyond the Brick work is that he is much more business minded um with it and uh, I'm much more like uh people focused uh and so between the both of us then we we balance each other out very nicely that's that's what i need for my life i need a john yeah no it's true the 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 elements that john brings are what a lot of sort of like youtube channels and just creative people in general are missing you've got to have that element of it if you want it to go anywhere yeah that i and i know that too so that's why i'm like you know, trying to learn a, a lot as I go, but you know, I'm not going to know everything. And I don't, I don't, I, I want to focus on being, you know, entertaining or connect like uh, all the, all the other fun things I would rather prioritize, obviously. So, but right. Yeah. Uh, that, that's the thing. See, I mean, it, and that's the struggle with it is you've got to, if you want it to be a success, um, like a long-term success, that's going to continue to grow and build and, um, have an impact. Uh, you've got to you've got to have that business sense about it, and and that whole aspect too, which isn't always fun. It's not easy, but it's got to be there if you if you want it to to last longer than you know a few a few months. Yeah, totally, absolutely, I agree. I think I've I've been ignoring chat again. Uh, Joseph yeah. Smart says John is the Mariah Carey of the channel. The <laughs> I'm not even. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> hey, that means that means he's the best. That's what it means. <laughs> and that you you incessantly have to listen to him sing about Christmas every single year. Yes. Yeah, I I can't see chat on my end because it froze too. Uh, so. Nora Build says I should be asleep, but I've gotten swept up in the 72 hour stream. There you go. Just go from one streamer to another. So I think I saw somebody said earlier, Brian, I think there's someone else between me and uh, Joey. There's one other, um, and I can't remember who it is now. The this, this schedule's in the description. Or it could have been Joey saying the wrong time. I wouldn't put it past him. I could have <laughs> sworn he said it, met, it 1 p.m. Wait. Maybe he was talking, what time zone was he talking in? Because yeah, the time that, was set up in central time, so I yeah. had to... I had to translate it on my end. That might have been it, yeah. And I, I got it confused. But I, I thought I could have swore he said whatever. Um, so there's one more person in between. Maniac for Bricks is after this elusive character in the middle. Brick Bunny's TV is apparently the one that's no, up right next. Now. Brick Bunny's TV. So you, you go hop from here to the bunny stream and then hop like a bunny from the bunny stream to Joey. So here's uh, Joseph's explanation of his uh, his comment. <laughs> What's the explanation? I can't see. Oh, can you not see? No, it? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it says the the elusive chanteuse is an album. Uh, the elusive meaning evasive and chanteuse meaning a female singer. <laughs> Joe, hey, you know, man. I, I couldn't uh, spout it off that Mariah Carey fact if you, you had a, a Nerf blaster to my forehead. <laughs> there you go. I feel like you've you got to be very precise with your placements here, or you just kind of throw stuff all over. It's one or the other. Yeah, that seems like a good set that you can customize and do whatever you right. want. Just got to check up on all my emails here. You know, you know, when you first wake up, you're like, oh, is anything on fire today? Am I on fire? You know, that <laughs> yes. I think John might know that anxiety. 
He you know? does. He wakes up and he's like, "What is? Has Josh done anything since last night that could potentially ruin the company?" <laughs> it, did Did Joshua do anything? Is Is Facebook like, "Oh, everyone hates us now"? Is Did we get demonetized on YouTube? Is today the day we pack it up? We're done. Has Josh yeah. agreed to host an hour of any more seventy-two hour live streams that he didn't tell me about? <laughs> um. No, did did all the spots fill up? Is that it? Like, uh, for the for the seventy two hours, last I knew they they had yes. Jeez, I I always like I always make an appearance. It seems, but I I don't sign up because I'm neglectful. <laughs> so I need to do better. Uh, Miniburg Production says y'all should do a fast food taste during fa- fast food taste test during the live stream or something similar. Yeah, and I love- if my family wanted to go out and get me like five varieties of fast food to try on camera and then rate them. I would do that. Yeah, you know, Mini Brick, you're still making a lot of lot of suggestions and demands here for someone who isn't going to be in the live stream. But, anyways, that would be fun. Uh, I I don't know if anyone would be willing to do that for me. I could just buy fast food and eat the fast food and give you my thoughts and get fat on camera. <laughs> now that i mean that's easy i mean yeah yeah you, you can handle that yeah i've done it a couple of times on the quarantine cast already so the last chat message i saw <laughs> was from samad salami saying thanks to brick star wars boy and that 99 cent super chat was about to go away that's how far back i am uh let's see there hasn't hasn't been too much more that was a long time ago (laughs) (laughs) so what what is your uh do you normally spend most of your day at the studio or do you only go over there if you have like a video to record no i'm i'm there most of the day so i've transitioned all of my stuff that is of interest personally or to videos and whatnot to the office so like I have my phone here if I need to do something quick, but like, you know, I'd rather watch videos if I'm going to chill or watch the Mandalorian, which I need to watch today. So don't spoil me, Chad. Not that I can see Chad anyways. <laughs> um, I, I'll watch it there or I'll, and, and it's usually like a convening spot if my friends are around because, you know, it's in an office building where usually by the time we all hang out, no one's there. So it's, you know, it's fine. Um, yeah, that worked well. Yeah, so uh, all of, all of my stuff, all my Legos there, everything is there. The only Lego thing I have is build a bop. This guy right here, the only only thing. And where can we pick those up if we're interested? Uh, my Etsy store. Uh, all the info is on my social media. Um, there's uh, maybe a Black Friday special. Who knows? I don't Ooh. know. Those Black Friday GWB. We'll see. But yeah, um, that's the only Lego thing, and I have my minifigure here, but. Yeah, all my cool stuff is at the office. So, Mrs. and Mr. Steelers five dollar super chat. Thank you for that. Says is Kenny the MC for this entire event? Uh, for the seventy two hour stream, no. Uh, Connects Kenny is not. It is about the community here on the seventy two hour live stream. Uh, Dickie family, thank you very much for uh, the five dollar super chat. I need to respond to a Facebook message after this, pertaining <laughs> to them, maybe. But yeah, thank you. Do a lot of. I'm always surprised at the number of people that communicate with me via Facebook Messenger. But I guess it makes sense because a lot of people never get my email address, and it's just easier for them to send Facebook messages. You know, like if you asked me like five years ago, what's the main way of communication? I'd say text messaging and I, I still, I don't know if I prefer text messaging now, but you know, I used to feel like I'm in the good graces with someone if I have their phone number and we text, but you know, there are people that I, I never, like I never text you really. Like I message you on Facebook just cause it, it, it's more of like, Hey, get this when you can. It's not urgent, urgent. It's, you know, whatever. Right. And like I communicate through other platforms too. It's just, it, you know, it's fine. And Facebook is one of those things too. It's, it's a, and it's most of everyone has it too. That's the thing. Right. So, so it makes it easy. Yeah. And you can even, 
I think uninstall the Facebook app, but still keep Messenger. And you can link up Messenger with your contacts in your phone text-wise and have that there too. So yeah, it's all like integrated. That helps. Yeah, I'm just always surprised at the number of uh, number of Facebook messages I get. Yeah. I have like my my business account business account my you know my bricks o'brien page i have it like not linked on my phone so if someone messages me i don't see it right away because i would i'd be like no i need to respond to every message immediately and then i'm always like worried about messages but for me on my actual account only there's only a couple of group chats that i've muted and only a few people that reach out and talk through there but yeah that's about it we had to shut off Facebook messages on Beyond the Brick oh, quite a while ago. There was just yeah. way too many coming in, and it, it wasn't even like productive things. It was just random stuff, and we were like, "This is pointless." If someone has a real question, wants to get a hold of us, we have our email address on there. You know, they can do it that way. But the Facebook messages were just becoming way too much, um, and not not useful at all. Can you you can disable messages to be sent on a page? Yes. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. I mean, it makes sense. Like, why why would someone want to contact you on on the page? You know, right? We just always prefer email. Is is how people get a hold of us? Yeah, if someone has like a complaint about you guys, they can reach out there. You know, like Which we of- we get those, and you know, we ignore them, but you know, they still keep yeah. coming. Right, right. <laughs> but yeah, especially at the scale that you guys are, like. Yeah, I can't even imagine it. The like the not even not like obviously you want to hear the messages that are oh we're big fans and blah 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 obviously but you know there's a lot of nonsense considering it's a Facebook page that must yes. come through like hey you know where can I get a, a where can I buy Lego? Uh, no, exactly. And, That's it. And also just the negativity on Facebook. If people think YouTube comments are bad. Facebook is like a really hundred bad. times worse. Um, when we do something that people don't like on Facebook, the amount of like hate and negativity over there is just ridiculous. Um, yeah, I, I, it's it's kind of crazy to me how people get over on Facebook. But I guess that's why it has you know the reputation of the platform it does, where people are just you know ranting about politics and whatever all day. Yeah. I'm more and more surprised that people really just spout out their feelings, no matter what they are, to whoever, and think like, oh, you know, everyone is going to hear my thoughts in this little echo chamber, or my boss won't find out, or like you're posting this stuff on the internet, and that's that same generation of people that was warning us when we were growing up not to post random information on the internet, and there they are, you know, it's very... uh ironic how that <laughs> yes it <turns>. is <laughs> joseph swata says what has the channel done that deserves hate review duplo uh i i wish that's that's all it was it's just i mean it's amazing the things that set people off it's not like so john and i will put a video out that we neither of us would see any problem with and yet somehow people find a way to get uh af- all offended by it I think you know this, Joe, because you're you're a smart enough guy. But some people just need a, a a outlet to express their negativity, and they think that the anonymity of Facebook is a, a proper platform to do that on, and it's not. So instead of being mad about whatever insecurities they have in their lives, they're getting mad at Beyond the Brick for posting something about you know, um, pirates when it should have been Vikings today. <laughs> it's very true. It could be as simple as that, you know. Or maybe they're mad that I'm on the quarantine cast and they want more of Joshua, you know. they want. I, I, we have yet to get any complaints along those lines. I, you know, I, I'm surprised you didn't get more complaints either in the beginning or even now, like, this Brian clown, he thinks he's so funny, but we want like set designer interviews and whatnot. Like, like I'm surprised because you're normally like not serious interviews, but like you talk about the product. That, like, I, I don't like, I don't know. <laughs> right. Um, we will sometimes get comments on 
on some videos where people is like, this isn't what I subscribed for. Why are you guys doing this? I'm out. You know, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> or something like that. Thanks for your declaration, Salami Kid 56 Goodbye. Uh, we've got a super chat here, but you've got to be able to read it, Brian. So uh, if, uh -oh. uh, <laughs> if you can't read it, we're going to need you to like load back in or something because we can't just let this go by without you reading it. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'll be back. I'll be right back. <laughs> Wait a second. I got. I got to close out the tab now. Oh, my whole phone's. For, hold on. I have to give Brian a moment to get in here so we can do this properly. <laughs> Trying to. All right, I'm here. What happened? Oh, baby, is Daddy back? Daddy. That's uh that's LME Toys building your mind one brick at a time. What up? How you doing? Happy Good. Friday. Thank you <laughs> for your super chat that 1999. Man, I look I look like a orange that has <laughs> gnome hair. What is happening? You should have been like Brian. You look so unprofessional. What are you doing? I mean, if I'd have to tell you that every week, so I've just given that's up. That's true. I should have kept Build a Bob right there. Bam. Thank you very much, Esh Daddy, for your That's super right. chat. Thank you. We we kind of uh we kind of uh teased everyone with the last quarantine cast and said that'd be our last time together. But I, I guess we we gave him one last uh, live stream here before the twenty four hour live stream. That was the last quarantine cast. This is That's true. Hour. This is technically a quarantine cast. Yeah, bonus bonus bucks. Yes. We like to give people make sure they get their money's worth. Yes. And you, you have a hard out at one, so you're not finishing this wreath. That's absolutely right. There's no way I'm finishing this wreath. No, no. <laughs> yeah, I have. I guess I can't just keep going with this because because you got to go over to the next next stream, and everybody has to has to go over there. So That's true. I've got like eight minutes left. Yeah, Man, I once again dude. regret not having eggnog in this cup. I really need some eggnog. Yeah, I really hope you get some like festivities going for um, the background there for the twenty four hours. That's wreath. true. I'm supposed to. Well, I've got this wreath, um, and let's see. I guess that that'll that'll be one thing. I'll see if I can find anything else to, to put up. Maybe maybe some little Christmas decorations uh, or something like that. Yeah, you could put some like lights around or you, you, you do something. You know. Some, yeah, you know. <laughs> Are you going to have the full 24 hours with like your studio lights on that being that bright and whatnot? Uh, I think so. Yes. Jeez, I don't know how you're going to handle that. Well, it, I mean, it, it, the, the bright lights are what keep me awake. I need that. Yeah. Otherwise I'd fall asleep. Yeah. I'll have my studio lights on, but that's why it's so hard when, when it gets, when it gets dark outside and then it gets like the middle of the night. But once it starts getting light around, I don't know, whenever, whenever the sun starts coming up, um, it gets, it starts getting a lot easier, but it's those, like the last, the, the last couple hours of darkness before it gets light out again is I uh, usually like the hardest time for me. Yeah. I, I did that last night. The, uh, the three to like five, I think Kevin said was like the, the roughest, but you know, I'm just, I'm getting used to it. I mean, I've, I've done it before. I've been up that late, but you know, consistently and whatnot i'm a night owl too so it, it helps there yes there you go see that and that's why i'm i was so surprised that you've never done 24 hours straight because i know you do stay up late a lot and i thought maybe you know there would have been some point where you just decided to go all through and just just go full 24 hours no i i like sleep <laughs> yeah but you know, not not next Friday. I won't like. I actually, I'll really like sleep after the twenty four hours is done. But yeah. Joseph Zawada says, Brian, please give us a Lego related hot take for no nuance November. <laughs> no nuance November. Oh, <laughs> as it gets later, Joe, you're gonna get all the hot takes, man. Um, it's gonna be good. But for no nuance November, <laughs> I don't know what. Well, I mean, like, what what you, were you looking for? Spin the wheel of categories and maybe, uh, you know, I can comment on something here. Jonathan Strickland says, I'm a night owl as well, but I don't think I'll be staying up for the full 24-hour stream. That's okay. You know, only Brian and I have to experience that pain. Yep, exactly. 
But if you feel bad about not staying up the full 24 hours with us, you should uh, get rid of those bad feelings by donating to the Tiltify campaign and helping support Creations for Charity. True. Uh, Ash Daddy wondering, hey, I was wondering how uh, Coppa's hit you guys. Um, yeah, that's you. Uh, so Coppa didn't end up really doing anything to us. We marked some of our videos that had young kids in them. Um, but overall it's, it's had zero impact, um, on the, on the channel, um, which has been great. Yeah. We were very concerned about that. Uh, but yeah, fortunately it really didn't have any impact. Um, this year, the much bigger impact on, on the YouTube side of things has definitely just been the, the lack of conventions. And so a lack of content to, to put out there besides the live streams. So that's been our bigger problem. Joseph Sawada says it can be about anything you want, Brian. Um, I had this hot take on Twitter. I'll transfer it over to here. Uh, croissants are gross. Oh, I already heard this uh, wrong opinion. So we need something else. Ooh, you need something else? <laughs> Ooh, okay. Um... Can you, uh, did you did you give a hot take on uh, the design of the horses and the new chariot gift with purchase and why those are not any good? You know, it, see, it's weird for me, and we can talk more about this when we don't have three minutes left. That's true. <laughs> it's, it's tough for me to be like, hey, this Lego thing is poo poo because now I know that, like, you know, an actual person designed it, and I'm like, oh, well, someone's creative energy went into that, so... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's not great. It's definitely not great at all. <laughs> like, I don't care. I didn't care. I didn't care about the Coliseum. I don't care about the, the gift of purchase. You know, the things I care about, it gets slimmer and slimmer and slimmer. So it's only going to be Nintendo and Mario. So. See, I think I care so much because, I mean, they've given us so little, like, medieval castle and, like, ancient stuff that anytime they, t they do those areas, I'm like, okay, this has got to be good. Because we don't get much of it, so I hope it's quality. So when I saw something like that, it just left me disappointed. Yeah, I, I haven't hit any disappointment, at least with the things I like, because my expectations have kind of been in check in terms of what I think will come out. But yeah, like you usually they're they're pretty tempered, or I'm blown away by something like Barracuda Bay in terms of a classic thing, but. I'm going to stop here okay. on the wreath since we've got like one minute left. Sure. Where I'm at. So you can see all the the berries and the leaves and everything on there. Uh, so I've got just a few leaves and then there's all of these parts. This is the red and white to give it that Christmas wintry look. Beautiful. Thank you to everyone who has joined. Make sure you look in the description for info on the 24-hour live stream that we're hosting next week as well as the rest of the schedule for the 72-hour community stream here. And you can find out who else is streaming on their channel. You might see Brian on one of those channels. Well, who knows? <laughs> I don't know. Well, you know, we'll see. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, Mini Brick says, been a great stream. Can't wait for next week. That's right. It's going to be awesome going to be amazing. Good show. See you at the 24-hour live stream. Thank you, Rick. Great stream, people. Keep up the great energy. Yep, lots of people looking forward to the 24-hour live stream. Well, I think that'll finish it off for me, Joshua Hanlon, and Connects Kenny. Uh, go over to uh, Brian's uh, Etsy store and buy a, uh, a Bob. Is that what they're called? Yeah, build a Bob if you want to, but you know, creations for charity, the Tiltify campaign. That, there that, you go. You can you can do both. There's nothing stopping yeah. you from doing both. <laughs> Thanks everyone for tuning in, and we will uh, see you later. Uh, I'll I'll be doing an ideas spotlight stream later today, and then we'll have the 24 hour live stream next week.